Hey, it's Miguel Gulen. Uh, so glad to be here with you today. And um, I just wanted to start off with uh, one of the tough questions that I think a lot of educators um, encounter when they are thinking about making a transition to Mastodon, which is uh, a social media, social networking, uh, community-based space where they can continue their connections uh, with other educators and um, with people around the world. So it, it's a pretty amazing uh, space to be in. But uh, as we look at uh, Mastodon, uh, one of the questions that people always ask when they are uh, getting started is, what um, Mastodon instance do I start with? What uh, place do I go to first? And there are several that uh, uh, colleague Dr. Doug Holton has come up with. He's these are a few that are listed here, and there's one other that I don't have listed here. It's called uh, Kodo. Co I don't know how to say it. Q O T O dot org. And I thought I'd walk you through the process of setting up a Mastodon account. Um, but you can definitely use any one of these uh, places to start with. In fact, you usually want to pick one that is fairly small and there's not a lot of people because it doesn't matter which one of these Mastodon instances that you join, these communities that you join, because they're all able to talk to each other. So it's sort of like uh, whether you're going to go get a Gmail account or an Outlook account, a Yahoo account. Um, you're still able to email and connect with other people. You just have to know what their address is. And uh, for educators, there's not just an address that you could use, or, or excuse me, a community that you can join that's going to be focused on a particular aspect of education. But there's also uh, hashtags, you know, like pound edututors, uh, or pound education, or pound edtech. And then uh, there's also the EduTutors group. But uh, let's start out pretty simply with first creating an account. And when you create an account, you want to make sure you do it on a, on a computer, not necessarily on your uh, phone. That was what I did. And uh, I ended up at a server that, you know, it was OK, but it, it wasn't really one that I wanted to uh, stay at. That's because the list may be a little bit limited, and there's there's about 12 to 13,000, I believe, of different Mastodon instances that you can connect to. So that's 12, 13,000 communities of people. And each one of those communities has a different set of rules. So what we're going to do is I'm going to jump over here to uh, QOTO.org. This is one that um, other people are that I know who are educators have joined. This particular one is has a few rules. It's um, it's inclusive, free speech, all cultures and opinions welcome, explicit hate speech and harassment are forbidden, and uh, they they don't block anybody. Uh, but of course, they do have that uh, hate speech and harassment are forbidden. So you're not going to run into any uh, crazy wild people, and if you do, the administrators will take care of that uh, pretty quickly. One of the things that really catches my attention right off the bat is that it's a STEM oriented instance. Now you really shouldn't choose your Mastodon instance based on what they're, they say they're focused on. Uh, I mean you can, there's no reason why not, but uh, it's not going to be something that's going to be an impediment to you over the long term. So you can see here that they don't uh, censor unpopular ideas and statements and they welcome people from across the political spectrum sexist, racist, homophobic speech is not tolerated. And you know that's really important because you, you want to, to have a place that feels safe and, and works. And most of your Mastodon instances, if not all of them, um, try to follow similar rules and, and conduct guidelines. They also expect you to be respectful and don't harass other, other people. Uh, while unpopular opinions are acceptable, explicit hate speech is not and uh, they want you to use the CW means content warnings uh, so see so you have to put content warnings before you share anything that is probably going to be offensive or is going to be in your face so you have to realize that um, this is this is something that you are um, 
choosing to be sort of a responsible member of the community. You're going to be a good citizen, in other words. And you have to be at least 16 years or older and a STEM student uh, or a professional to join the server. So it's important, again, to review the rules for uh, different uh, sites. If I were to go down here to Mastodon Education, uh, which was a, an instance set up just for, for uh, uh, education users uh, Eric uh, I can't say his last name but Eric uh, set it up a, a little while back and uh, I, I want to say it's not very old it's only two or three places but uh, it's Dutch and English and uh, it's a place uh, for everyone who works for and with education uh, so this is just another um, place that you can go it's provided free of charge but usually uh, most Mastodon servers will ask you to make some kind of donation because one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that all of these 13,000 different instances are not usually run by uh, businesses, corporations, or even universities. Uh, they're, they're run by volunteer uh, people, people like you and me who say, you know, I want to do this, and out of the goodness of their heart, they set these things up um, so they can connect with people people they know and then eventually it starts to grow from there so definitely think about that and take a little bit of time to explore the different rules um, that are a part of each one of these um, instances because each one of them is going to have a slightly different culture uh, just like if you were to walk into a different school uh, in a school district there, there might be some similarities, but there's also going to be some differences uh, in the culture. So, for example, this is uh, Sotal Social, and it's this focused on the scholarship of teaching and learning. Um, issues, toots, and boosts unrelated to teaching and learning don't really belong on this site. Uh, and anything unrelated, they can go ahead and delete it or remove it. They've got uh, three rules here. Be kind, respectful, and thoughtful. They should be focused on teaching and learning. And no false or misleading information. No racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia. Nothing illegal, nothing sexual. No harassment. So really important um, perspective, right, for education-focused uh, um, Mastodon instance. This one's pretty small. It's got only 86 active users. Now, I've actually joined a few different instances in my time and I have to say that um, it can be a little bit uh, um, restrictive to go someplace where they've got the rules locked down tight just like you know if you were to um, go into any community and they have really uh, tight rules so I think uh, I am going to go give Kodo a try and just to let you know I'm already part of a Mastodon instance I'm actually part of a one focused on the humanities and it's it's called H Commons Social but I'm thinking I might make the move uh, to Kodo uh, if not I'm just, I'll just use this for demonstration purposes so I've come in uh, to Kodo.org and I've put in my information you can see that my address will be mgulen at koto.org. So when people say, what Mastodon instance are you at? What's your address? I'm going to type in mgulen at koto.org. Um, so I'm going to click on that I'm a human, and I now have to identify all the dragonflies. So there's a lot of ladybugs on the screen, but here are the dragonflies. So I'm going to hit verify. It says I'm now a human being. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on sign up and let's see what happens. Okay, it says a confirmation link has been sent to my email. I'm going to go ahead and pause um, the recording just to so I can go click on that email. Okay, I'm opened my email and I can see that I've got a notification here. It says confirmation instructions for quoto.org. I'm going to always display images. I'm going to come down here and click on verify email address. Okay, so it says uh, welcome and um, it says welcome to the Fediverse. In a few moments you'll be able to broadcast messages. This server is special. It hosts your profile. So remember its name. So I'm going to say let's go. You can see that it's going to give me an overview of the different timelines. Now unlike uh, something like 
maybe Facebook or, or Twitter, uh, the there are different timelines. And the home timeline is everybody that's on the server that, that you follow on. Um, it's going to show you that. Local is from people that are on the same server. So everybody on Kodo, Kodo is going to appear here. But home is pretty much anybody that you follow, and it could they could be anywhere. Federated, of course, is public posts from other servers of the Fediverse, and this can sort of really be like drinking out of the fire hose because there are so many uh, servers. So whomever Kodo is connected with, you're going to see a lot of content come your way. So you can see how these images sort of try to capture this idea of you're actually. Uh, connecting to people from all over and uh, you don't even have to be following them you but you can't be learning from them so there's a reply boost and favorite and when you reply to someone that'll usually connect you most of replies that that we make uh, can be unlisted that means they don't show up in the public timelines that we just looked at um, but if you want to get the message out there that something's important that you want to share it that you think oh wow you know I'm I'm gonna like this because it's going to attract other people remember that Mastodon doesn't have an algorithm it doesn't have a, a function that says when you favorite or you star something or you heart something that it's going to send it out to everybody all that a favorite does really is to tell the author that whoa that was nice thank you and that's it uh, but if you really want to put something out there and share it with everybody else you want to bring it in from uh, you want to boost something uh, then you you definitely want to boost it you want to uh, click this this button here so that it will um, let people know that this is something um, worthwhile I would recommend that you boost and favorite uh, to send that message so or if you don't like like what was shared still boost it for conversations purposes because it's 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 obviously something that that got your attention I'm going to go ahead and finish that tutorial and now we are here pretty much in this open area and uh, so at this point I can come in and edit my profile and one of the things that you want to do when you're working on a profile is to um, add lots of hashtags, introductions, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, stop this segment and uh, start a new one since we are at about 13 minutes. Thank you.